Hey, hey, hey. Stay behind hey, the camera, no, please. Uh, Don't want to talk. Thanks, though. Oh, that's fine. Uh, you involved with this at all? Um, I'm uh, I'm gonna be taking her car. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. You, you hey, mind? Hey, hey, hey. Can I ask you for a favor? Since my officer is still conducting the. Uh, you can ask me for whatever favors you want, but I'm not gonna do it. No, there's no reason for me to back up. What's your name? My name is Sergeant Mata. Sergeant Mata. Okay, there's absolutely nothing I'm doing that's interfering with your investigation. What I'm doing is a constitutionally protected activity. I am documenting what's going on here. I'm not interfering with you. You don't interfere with me. Turn around, walk away. I said, turn around, walk away. I said, turn around, walk away. Turn around, walk away. You know, the Supreme Court disagrees with you. So shut up and walk away. And what's your involvement here on this? I'm documenting it. For what purpose? Because it's my right to do so. The okay. people want to see what you're doing, and we have every damn right to see it. And that's fine. Then okay. walk Not away. Did notice anything wrong? Then walk away. Okay. Not until I you mean, walked up. No. Then walk away. I don't want to hear officers, you. You're still running your mouth. My officers. You're still doing this, and I need you doing this. Okay. Walk away. <clears throat> I'm going to remain here for my officers. Just to make sure that everything's fine, because I don't even know who you are. You don't need to know. Did, who did I you am. identify yourself to anybody? Did you identify okay. yourself? You mentioned that you You're had something to do servant. with them. I am. I identify myself. You don't Sergeant need to know who I am. You need to shut list. the hell up and walk away. Okay. You work for me. Here. I don't. I don't have. You to work, work for me. me. I don't have. Okay. To when I tell, when I give you an order, you obey. Do you understand, sir? No, I do not. Go ahead and have a seat not, over there. Have works. a seat over there on the train tracks for me. While well, I figure out who works. you are. I'll remain hey guys, I need you to call in Sergeant okay. Mata with Sarita Police Department. We need to find out who we sit on the curb while we figure out who you are. You under investigation? Where I'm at. Are you under investigation for anything? I am here with my officers. Are you under I investigation? Will here. Are you We're conducting a traffic stop? Are you? And I'm done talking. Are you under investigation for anything? Are you I'm pleading the talking. fifth on that? Yeah, we'll find out. You do what you must, sir. You're under investigation now. You what? You what? You, you are must. now under investigation. That's fine. As long as you don't come close to my. You want a shovel to keep digging your hole? No, hey, go fine. grab him a shovel. You can keep digging it deeper stay if you want. Just yeah, keep running your mouth. Keep fine. talking. Keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. Dig it deeper, buddy. They can't just shut their mouths and just leave it alone. Private where? Yeah, I'm not a fight. You need to go this way. You're, you're way past the area where you need where, to go. Where is it? How do I know that? Sir, you need to go right there. How do I know that? I'm telling you right now. You should have a sign. I'm telling you right now. Just mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. This is private. Where? I, I've been here a hundred times. Let's go. Make your name and badge number. Let's go. So if I don't, if I don't go over there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pay attention oh, yeah. to him. Why don't you pay attention to him? Something. Is that good? That's not I'm, I'm over here. Uh, you're asking me, I'm telling you. Go that way. I'm right here, waiting for the public records. You're not waiting for anything. What's your attitude? You're not waiting for anything. What's your attitude? I'm waiting for public records. I'm in line. Where's your request? Where's your request? Okay. And that's good enough. That's what I need to know. Get in the lines. I don't do favors. I don't do favors. We're not telling you to do that. She's just asking me for any favor, and you're asking him to decline you. Your attitude sucks. You you? Stand over there. I'm, not, I'm standing right here. I need you to be in the line. What line? The line I'm in line. I'm right here. Not give me a supervisor. Sure. You want to play this game? Sure. I'll get you supervisor. Your attitude sucks. What's your name and badge number? You can say my name, right? What's your name and badge number? My name? What's your badge number? What's your badge number? All right. I'm in this day. Me too. All right. I've been over here a hundred times. All the time I walk through here. What are, you, what are you guys hiding? Are you guys are hiding something over here? Nah, nah, they want to bust directives. They want to bust directives. I didn't do nothing wrong, bro. Listen. Yeah, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I'm in a, I'm in a public spot. Have a seat. I'm not having a seat nowhere. You know, I'm over there. You know, mom. Have a seat where. Yeah, I'm totally in a, a party space. So you guys can get back to work. Do you look like you're 17? Well, okay, guys, today we're going to do something new because I really want to keep it fresh here on Friendly Police Man. I'm going to take the first four random comments that are here in my back office here on YouTube. I'm picking the first four random ones simply because... Um, I don't want to lose track of these comments. 
And as you can imagine, there are thousands and thousands of comments here on my channel. So we're going to go with the first four. Keep things simple. First one says, look at the controversy over George Floyd. Everyone was told he was murdered. Well, I should say deleted. I hope YouTube doesn't censor me for that. But the coroner determined that he died from heart failure. And what does it say? Mental now? Poisoning? I think they mean with, I don't know, the, the drug, you know, with the F or whatever. I'm not going to say these words because I don't want to um, flag. I don't even know what that is. The people are living in fear and being scared every day from mis information yeah i want to say that's misinformation coupled with a lot of um mind control and brainwashing from this big machine we call the media that's been going on for at least i don't know when the when the uh, nightly in the afternoon and the morning news started i can remember i can remember when there was you know just the nightly news and it seemed to spread and then there was daily news and afternoon news and you know <clears throat> now 24-hour news and c-span and cnn and you know all the rest of the outlets in my estimation i want to say they're just there to brainwash all of us you know now as a self-proclaimed conspiracy theorist that i claim to be I will say that that's their whole point. I mean, they're sure there's always a double edged sword when it comes to these things. They're going to tell you one thing. You know, of course, news is there to update us, to let us know of, you know, anything we need to stay clear of, up to date on. I mean, it always seems to have its quote unquote lily white purpose, but then there's always this other, you know, um, there's this other agenda that's masquerading under the like I said, the lily white guys of simply, yeah, you know, we want to make sure that the American public stays up to date, you know, stays informed on everything that, you know, I-95 is blocked right now, you know, make sure you want to take an umbrella because it's raining. So it seems like a good thing, you know, I want to know what's going on in the news. But what it does is ultimately, when 95% when of it is fear-based, Yeah, we're just taking some pictures. Okay. We don't consent to any reporting of us, and we're not in a public um, space right now. You're not? This so this public right. building is, is private? Like, actually, this is a public building, yes. Oh, there you go. See, so yes. there you go. Okay. We're happy to let you record. Okay. Well, so, you, so just to clarify, three seconds ago you said I couldn't record, but now I'm okay to record. I thought it was a private. I was confusing private. Gotcha. And do you work here or no? No. So Got people you. are just getting nervous. Yeah. That's all. Oh, and, and, so then when you come over here, and, and so, look, we, are, we have nothing to hide. Right. We are a public entity. Is, is there something yeah. else that you would like to record? Well, we you're, you said you, you said you don't work here. <laughs> we, you are allowed, we, we does, does she work here or is she, is she, is she joshing me? Not, whether I work here or not, you are allowed you're to right. record. Right. Sorry, well, I know. You, when you first said I couldn't record, record though. Over other records. Yeah, that's what I told I'm you from the beginning. I'm a contractor with the district, but I don't work here. I'm a, I'm a contractor and I am the gotcha. attorney, one of the attorneys for the district. So then obviously you made a mistake. So you acknowledged and you made a mistake in that law. Yes, I did acknowledge that. So is there anything else that you'd like to record while you're here? I would like your name. My name is Marcy Gutierrez. Hello. Hello. I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Get your badge and uh, name badge number. Is there a Thompson? He doesn't speak. He's mute. Sir, that's a confidential meeting. Oh, you're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good? No, we're good here. Yeah. Code four. You can get back to work. Name and badge number, please. You're not going to follow your policy and identify? This is not intended for one hater. But all haters. <laughs> all right, guys. Today I'm over in Turlock, California at the Turlock Unified School District. 
Special Ed Department. Joining me today, Angry Vet Audits. And together, we'll be walking around this public building in the public areas to make sure they honor and respect our rights to take pictures and video and work on our story in peace. Keep in mind, we just came from across the street from the main district office. So hopefully they called over and let them know that we have a right to be here. But I wouldn't hold my breath, guys. That being said, definitely make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to follow or subscribe. Show your support by sharing this video. And definitely leave a comment. When you do all of this, it really helps me out. Last but not least, no bootlicking. Let's do this. Turlock Unified School District, Special Education. Hi. Hello. Can I ask what you're here for? I can't answer personal questions. Okay. Let me just get your name badge. Perfect. Tell you what, though, if you want to get back to work, we'll ring the bell if we need help and sound like a fair deal. Looks like IVA was a uh, works quickly. He already got uh, some information. When he was walking in, there was someone looking around. Uh oh. Oh. We have confidential information in this office. Um, do you have any type of identification? Yeah, of course. I always carry identification on me. Okay. Can I help you with anything? Well, I'm just curious, though. What, what, I know. Would my identification somehow magically make it so I can't see anything confidential, though? No, I'm just trying to help you with my Yeah, so, so let me help you okay. um, real quick. What I'd recommend, um, I'm going to be walking around as well. Um, I'll give you a few seconds. So if you want to turn anything over, like upside down, that's confidential that I shouldn't see. Have you got the computers on with, like, private information? Because, you know, we want to respect the Absolutely. students' information and whatnot. So if you want to go, like, minimize the screens, then we're, we're not going to be here all day, but we'll just be, like, 10, 15 minutes, and then... You know, but that, that that's just my advice. Okay, thank you. Can you give me a second? Sure. Hi, how are you? Good. Can I talk to you? I have a copy of this. I will make you a copy. Okay. Right, you can see the little map here, guys. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to sign it up here? Or that you know what call it is? So, okay. Uh, cause we'll just give me your... Oh, give me this. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh. All right, so we gave her a chance to, uh, how do you say, uh, just a little break room or conference room. Looks like a combination of both. Oh, were you, I thought you were giving me five. No, no, no. I just don't feel comfortable with my... Oh, keep walking then. Keep walking. There you go. Right. Problem solved, right? I couldn't help but notice you were on your phone. You're not calling someone on this, are you? I'm just grabbing my phone. All right, I just want to make sure. Perfect. Okay. I'm sorry, do you, I think you gave him a card. Do you have a card for me by any chance? Appreciate your help. Yeah. We are a public entity. So why are you here then? Okay. Because we have people who are so, so somebody called, obviously, I would imagine. Well, so at that point, no, I'm just saying, hear, hear me out. No, I hear you. Brother. I think what we should do is, is there something yeah. else that you would like to record? Well, you're, you're you, said, you, you said you don't work here. <laughs> we, you are allowed, we, we, does, she, does she work here or she, is she, is she joshing me? Not, whether I work here or not, you are allowed to you're record. Right. Right. Well, well, I know. You, when you first said I couldn't record them. Yeah, Yeah, that's what I told you from the beginning. I'm a contractor with the district, but I don't work here. I'm a contractor and I am the attorney, one of the attorneys for the district. So then obviously you made a mistake. So you acknowledge and you made a mistake in that law. I did acknowledge that. So is there anything else that you'd like to record while you're here? I would like your name. 
My name is Marcy Gutierrez. Do you have a business card by any chance? No. Gotcha. I don't have it with me, unfortunately. Perfect. But I can give you, I can write my name down for you. Yeah, because there, that'd be great. Is there anything else that you want Yeah, your name and then like what, what company you're contracting with. Marcy Gutierrez, I will provide anything to you in writing. Go ahead okay. and give your name and number and I will send you an email. So you want me to do a public records request is what you're saying? If you want to, you certainly yeah. may, but well, I'm you, happy to I'm, provide it without that. You, you just said you would write it down. Yeah, I'm happy to write it down. Yeah, if you do that, that'd be great. I will. I'm not going to do, I'll do as soon as we're done with this meeting. Gotcha. Well, I didn't, I wasn't having a meeting with anyone. Is there anything else that you'd like to record? Yeah, we'll just kind of walk around and record. Go for it. Yeah, we plan to. We'll follow you. But don't need to have all these resources over here at, you know, 300,000 plus a year, give or take, with pensions and benefits and all that. This is a lot of public money right now just being consumed, holding up a, a post, holding up a countertop, you know, just following us around. We also have a responsibility to the, the families that we serve to make sure that confidentiality is... Yeah, so maybe go check on them, not me, though. Right, so Fernando is uh, informing them just to turn confidential stuff around. I really do appreciate him uh, informing them. That's how it should be, guys. And we're not going to linger around. We just want to make sure that our rights are respected. It's very simple. Make sure there's nothing confidential that I shouldn't see on this camera. The onus falls on them to protect that information, not me. All right. So far, so good. Let's Let's continue. Oh, we may have some security or police here. I'm not sure who that is. I hope they're not wasting resources and calling people with guns on us. They're potentially putting our lives in jeopardy now. Sounds like they're trying to infringe on our rights. Let's go check that out real quick, guys. Looks like they're trying to infringe on our rights, guys, calling armed uh, either security or PD. If we would have got the wrong person, she has a gun, a pocket knife, a taser. Why would they tell us we can record, yet they call armed people on us? That just doesn't make sense. All these resources being wasted. A lot of resources being consumed, and you contract with them. Come on, educate them. Let's get this, uh, let's get the ship running, you know, tight and smooth. She might have just been like from across the street and walked over here. I'm not seeing any uh, vehicles out here. I hope not. I close the door and lock it then. And just so you know, wait, just so you know, real quick. It, is your, your body cam's on, right? Yes, it is. So before you leave, I'd like an incident number. And just so you guys know, before you guys start discussing confidential information, I'm going to hear everything that she says. I'm going to see everything she says. I'm going to get that video, so don't show anything confidential on it. I'm also going to get the phone number of the person who called her. So I'm just putting you on notice right now. If you guys, if you turn your body cam off at any point, per California law, you will be in violation. I will hold you accountable as well. So let's keep it running till the time the call is completely over, if you could. And again, on your way out, if I could get your... Perfect. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure so there's no gray zone here, guys. You never know that that body cam might magically do... How about this? I got a little tripod. How about I just set it up in there? I'll leave it in there. I'll you guys can close the door, and then I'll get this. I'll get my camera when you're done. Does that work? The same video footage. I have just my body cam on. But yeah, but my, my, my body cam doesn't disappear. Okay. So could I just put this on the desk real quick? That is up to Everything might disappear if you leave it in there. No, I trust. I mean, you're recording it. So can I, can I leave it there? No. No, I tried, guys. I thought it was pretty reasonable. That would save us some uh, time, and it would actually save the taxpayer money because now we're going to have to do this the hard way through a public records request. Interesting. I don't know why they're under the impression that when they walk in a special room that we're not going to be able to hear and see everything they're saying. I don't think they realize that they have body cam footage on. It's just kind of silly. Oh, well, it is what it is, guys. They're going to do it the hard way, I guess. Hello. Hello. I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. You have your badge and uh, name and badge on it? Thompson? He doesn't speak. He's mute. Sir, that's a confidential meeting. Oh, you're good. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Code four, you can get back to work. You're not going to follow your policy and identify? All right. Got a tyrant there. I'm guessing he didn't take the de-escalation courses or training on uh, public relations. And if you could put your name and badge number on there, I'd appreciate it. And then, do you know your partner's, can you put your partner's information on there? Because I need to do a public records request on him as well. I do not know his badge number, but I can write his name. Perfect. Appreciate your help. And I'm just curious, you know, what sets you apart from him? Did you get like special training? Have you been here longer? You have a different field training officer? Right. No. You should be, you should, you're, you're the- two different people. You're the kind of people we honestly want to see as like supervisors and like, you know, field training officers. And so. so there, Turlock PD, my name, badge number, and then the incident number, and then his number. Perfect. And so the only reason I come over, right, because it is close to a school. I work here at the yeah. school right here. So we just wanted to make sure everything's all good. The funny yeah. thing is though, we told this gentleman here who's in charge, when we were across the street that we're not here to record kids. We even went out of our way to ask like, what part's the high school, what part's not the high school. Oh, okay. You no, know, even though it's not illegal to record the kids, we went, we went out of our way to make sure we didn't. Okay. You know, yeah, so so just, they, they usually call me if anything's out of the ordinary, so you guys you know, aren't breaking the law or anything. So, so basically, I just to come and make sure everyone is safe and good. Yeah. And no, and I get it. You have yeah. to come because they called. It's just kind <laughs> of concerning when our, I, when I pull up his salary, you know, with pension, you know, benefits maybe 200, 300 K a year, and now he's consuming more resources because he's trying to enforce feelings rather than actual law. Thank you very much. And like I said, I know you have to do it. I'm yeah. just saying it's just, it would have been nice if you could be doing something else. You know, I'm sure you got, I'm sure you got better things to do than chasing some guys around with cameras. You know. All right, All right take care. All right, appreciate your help. Yeah, so we're going to get that body cam footage. We're going to get the audio and video, assuming she didn't turn it off. I don't know if she's working. She hasn't seen it. So it looks like they got educated guys that we're allowed to do what we're doing. Hopefully next time someone comes in with a camera exercising their First Amendment right, which is not only lawful, but constitutionally protected, they will act a little differently and not consume so many resources. Look at all this, three people. It's kind of like Caltrans, you know, you got two supervisors and one person working. Yeah. <laughs> two people over Great sense of humor. I'd like to think so. I right, got some restrooms, custodial, little conference room. Already went in there. Gonna make do one more quick little victory lap, guys, just to make sure they're really 100% without a doubt. Understand we can be here. And the cops already left. It's pretty clear. So I'm guessing for some reason, guys, um, camera guy number two is a little more intimidating because she's following him but not following me. So I'm not sure maybe his, because of his camera equipment, I don't know what it is. Have a good day. You've been very helpful. I appreciate you. Thank you. Take care again. Bye. Again, like he said, the looks like there's calls nothing. on you. Looks like there's nothing confidential. Thank you for being vigilant and trying to protect people's confidential information. You're welcome. And remember, it's not my responsibility. Excuse me, please do not pull documents from the district's filing system. Well, maybe not keep them out here in the lobby area. Just a, an idea. So I guess we'll have to wait for her to walk away and then I can take a quick gander at those. I'm gonna grab all of them. That's a lot to carry. There's one for us here. 
I guess I'll go check something else over there then maybe. These are all blank then. I think that I shouldn't see. There's nothing. You're allowed to record public areas, but not go into confidential files. We just said that these, are, these are blank. I don't know for sure. I wasn't able to look at all of them. And you make a lot of accusations talk. before you you're sure. Sure. It's kind of like when you first said we couldn't record, then you said we could record three seconds later. What I meant was that now you're saying these are blank, Ms. but now you're not sure. And I were having a private meeting. And never, asked. never assume. Always double check. In this type of position and line of work, ma'am, with so much confidential stuff that could potentially be exposed to someone with foul intentions, it's important to do your, re your due diligence first. Thank you. Gotcha. And let me get a thumbnail right there. That looks good. All right. Let's get out of the way. Excuse me. Sorry. Don't want to impede uh, business here, guys. Then, then we'd be committing a crime. And she has the right intentions as far as she does want to protect the private information, guys. And we're not here for that, just to be clear. But again, what if I did have foul intentions? What if I came in with a hidden camera with today's technology? What if I came in with no camera and I just kind of walked up, was grabbing a business card, and I just grabbed something from right there and walked out the door. They wouldn't even have a chance to stop me. So I would certainly hope, I would pray that there's nothing confidential in this little common area that we shouldn't see. Because if it is, they're going to be held liable, not me or the person who takes it. Well, maybe the person who takes it because then they'd be stealing. Yeah, then I have a business card. No, but I said I would get my name and number down for you. Did we get that yet or no? No, but I will give it to you. Well, anytime you're ready. I'll give it to you on your way out. Well, we're by the door. We're, we're getting. Ready to leave, I'll give it to you. I was just walking out the door, but I just saw you like. Okay. So if I can get that, we'll we'll be going. I give it to you when you're outside. Well, I'm not going to go outside till I get the information. So we're kind of in a loophole. So we're going to. So you're going to force me to stay here till 4:30 or I'm 5. I'm happy to give you my information on your way out. So I guess we'll be here till 5 o'clock. You said on your way out. You didn't say after you leave. So which is it? Wording is very. You said you're a lawyer, an attorney. I would hope that being an attorney and you passed the bar exam. I would, you would think that one of the, the main skill sets in being an attorney is wording. Wording is everything in that type of profession. If I get the information. Again, my name is Marcy Gutierrez and I'm gonna write my name and number down as soon as you Perfect. head out. And since you're private contracting, does, it, does that, will that information include the contract company that you're with? Yes, yeah. That way I can do some research and figure, you know, do a public records request and yes. find out how much taxpayers are spending for the service exactly. of standing around here. You certainly have the option of doing that. Perfect. Well, the sooner we get that information, the sooner we can go. I mean, we've already... Right, don't touch my vehicle. We're checking, we're just checking to see if we can see the line. That was an illegal stop, and I want your name and badge number. All right, okay. sir. Sir. Don't give me your name and badge number. Okay, Officer Rosado, Columbus Police Department. Okay, okay. badge number 148. Okay, Officer Rosado, thank you. And when you I two, please. Up, when I pulled up my uh, Okay, you. and you two, please. Look, I'm Corporal Andrew Stinson. I do not have a badge number, I'm a corporal. Okay, Corporal, I uh, appreciate it. When I pulled up behind you. Okay, don't. Is it on now? Is it on now? You cannot see it from a distance. Well, you're the only one. Okay. I've been driving around for forever. A distance, what? Well, you should be able to see it where you're at right now. When I got back to the vehicle, I could see it was Are on. Are you going to let me speak, sir? No, give me my ID so I can go because my, my tail light, my tag light is on. Sir. No, give me my ID so I can go. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to you. I will be following an official complaint. That, that is your right, sir. Okay, this is I'm done. I don't want to talk to you. But I do not. I do not want to talk to you. Go ahead and move away, please. I do not talk to me anymore. Hey, you know how you have a right to stop and film us, correct? I have a damn right. I got a right to stop and film. And that's the reason I'm getting stopped right now. I'm standing here on City Street talking. And guess what? I do a vehicle check every time I leave my house, and it's on video. So when I make the official, give me my goddamn license. Sir, there's no need for license. I'm a grown ass man. I can talk now. How the fuck I want to talk? Now let's go ahead and amp it up a little bit. Now get the fuck out of my face. I don't. It ain't polite when you illegally stop. 
Now get out of my face. You guys have a good day. I know some of you guys like that tough talk. Some of you guys just absolutely love it. In fact, there's sometimes when you are viewing this channel, because you know I let that tough talk run through this channel. And some of you guys are going to get in your feelings and get in the comments and say, you know, oh, don't do this, don't do it. You know, we, I, get, I get a lot of this, both. You know, I get some of you guys that, you know, you're cursing every other word. And I get some of you guys that are just whining and boot licking and, you know, want to put a Band-Aid on every boo-boo that the pig gets. Hey, we got, I, I want to suit both of you guys, but you can't make everybody happy. You know, I can't make all you guys happy, so I can't control what these auditors do. I'm just going to serve it up to you raw, just the way it is. You're going to get the nitty gritty. Let's go. Okay, you, you need to go now, ma'am. You need to go. Don't be a cop if you're that afraid. Okay. I'm trying to keep myself safe as well as my partner. I'm safe. trying to keep safe. You Can you please get your hand out of your gun? Okay. Keep your hands where I can see them, ma'am. Please keep your hands where I can see them, ma'am. Get your hand off your gun, ma'am. Sir, I need you to relax. I'm with the high-digit community. Well, you're going to get taught a big lesson. Okay. You better... You know, that's not a lawful order, ma'am. That's not, I'm not being detained. You don't just show up and I'm your property. I don't care. Don't tell me what to do. Kick rocks. Go do your job. It wasn't consensual. Yeah, so kick rocks. Don't tell me to get my hand out of my pocket. You know, I'm not your property, ma'am. No, I'm not. I don't have to do anything. You asked me, ma'am. When I asked you? No, you asked. That's a question. I, I'm declining. For my safety? No, not your safety. Do, do you see a gun on me? No. No, but I don't know what you have in your pocket. I don't know what you have. Are you under investigations for shooting anybody? Actually, sir, I am. Internal I'm, affairs? Are you under, are, are you under yeah, investigation? How do I know that? How do I know that? Because I'm telling you, I had a call for service. That doesn't matter. I'm as a police officer to come and make sure everything's okay. How are you going to do that, ma'am? By talking to you. And how are you going to, how is that going to, how are you going to make anything okay by talking to me? Because I need to make sure that you're not. How are you going to make sure? That's my question. How are you going to make sure? You, my intent. You're going to know my intent? Sir, when I get a call for service, it's my job to come out and make sure that the... If it's a man... Here she goes, starting to encroach. Again, it's part of her training. So once she feels like, you know, the guy is not really a threat and he's not doing what she wants him to do, she starts taking those steps forward to try to intimidate him. Here we go. Legal activity, ma'am. If it's a legal activity, you have nothing to do with me. And he knows. I'm with High Desert Community Watch. You're making yourself look dumb on YouTube, ma'am. I'm on public property. Whatever the boogeyman or whatever they're afraid of doesn't trump my, my rights, man. And I'm not going to get my hand out of my pocket. And I'm not going to give you ID because that's what I know that's what you're used to. But that's not lawful, man. Okay? okay. It's a consensual stop. You can't. I'm not your property. Okay? You well, then you, you can't. I'm 50 years. I'm old enough to be your daddy. You're going to sit there and tell me to get my hands out of my pocket? Yes. Screw sure, off. That is an officer safety issue. Okay, well, then you guys should leave so you guys are, are safe. Hey. You just let all these people walk down this sidewalk. There's a curfew. You just let all these people walk down here. Who just told everybody? I just saw everybody walking down here. I am an essential member of the press. Yeah, we're media we're anyway, essential. bro. We we're media. Do you have ID? What ID are you asking for? What press Your credential media. are you asking for? Your media ID. Okay, what do who, 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 what they consist of? Do you have an ID, yes or no? Yes, I have media ID. Okay, can I see your ID? No. Okay, then you need to leave or no, you're, you're going to get arrested. I'm a member of the press. Listen, I'm a member of the press. That guy is famous. Gentlemen. I'm a member of the press. Gentlemen. Yes, sir, officer. Oh, it does not include essential. Well, let me see what you're There's no such thing as press credentials. Yes, it is. No, there's not. No. It's the First Amendment. I disseminate information of public of public interest. Go to disorderlyproductnews.com. I got 11 million views. That's my press credential. There you go. Clapboard. You know right. You're getting your car, but I'm still walking. Remember that. Remember that. You're getting your car. I'm still walking. What's up, man? Remember that. I'm essential. You got What's up, baby? Hey, push up, Flintstone. I always find it interesting the way the cops are caught off like a bunch of rabbit dogs by their owner, you know, and then they all just scurry back into their little hole <laughs> like New York rats, you know, but that's what it is. Rats, pigs, you know, they're one and the same in this situation. Um, yeah, this great uh, walk of shame right there, you know, that's how the auditors are supposed to do it. Stand up to the bully pigs. You're under arrest for crimes against science. Uh, could you drag me by the restroom? Go back to Rome, Oklahoma! 
Oh my. What's up, buddy? Is your dash cam on? No. Is your body cam on? Yeah. Turn that on for me, please. Okay, what's the deal, man? I, I don't. I didn't call you, so I, I couldn't tell you. What, what are you doing? What's Alive, breathing, and well. How you doing? Okay. You ain't got to be so timid, man. You okay? I promise you okay. You ain't got to be so timid. All right. It's fine. I promise. Take your hand away from your gun and talk to me. It's okay. Okay, well, can I rest my arm right here, too? Do you see the problem now? Can I rest my arm right here? Can I rest my hand? Then take your hand off yours. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just as open to my gun as you are. Take your hand off yours. I won't put mine here. <laughs> this reminds me of a shootout from, like, the 1830s, you know? Back when it was sundown. They said, meet me out there at 12 noon. This is very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I really like it. Um, you don't see a lot of these Second Amendment audits as much as often as you used to. Yeah. Um, you know, South Carolina audit, um, one of the premier greats, um, as far as Second Amendment is concerned. Really like watching his stuff. I hear. That's not Take your hand away from your gun. That is not saying that you need to tell me, right? Are you a higher ranking officer to him? Tell him to take his hand away from his gun. Because if he's allowed to do it, I am too. Take your hand away from your gun. Is he good, man? Is he good? Yeah, we're all good. Okay, then I'm good. Okay. Okay. Back. I know it. I know it, man. I'm sorry I even had to come out here. Nah, he, that was a proper way. I bet you never saw a cop get on that way. Especially when you're, you know, sitting there with your gun out right there in the open. You know, Second Amendment displayed open carry commanded that the cop take his hand off his gun the cop gets owned and does exactly what he's supposed to and the cop is not stupid nah you good thank y'all for wasting that time okay y'all had to come talk to me that's fine thank y'all for wasting that time i'm sorry y'all came out here you know what i'm y'all idiots i'm done talking to y'all can i have your name i'll talk to you in just one second i need his name can i have your name officer smith badge number don't have a badge number. Now, is there a reason you came in here with your hand on your gun? Because I've been through this before with Hendersonville, and you had your hand by your gun. Why? Routinely, you rest your hand by your gun. So can I routinely rest mine here, too? It's an the issue then, right? Do you see the problem now? It'd be a safety issue. But I'm just as loud to my gun as you are, right? That's yes, no question. Can I put my hand on my gun? Is that a, is that a safety threat to you? Is it a safety threat? Right. I will. Thank you. All right. Why are they so hostile? No one's trying to be hostile. But why is this hand by his gun? Look, honestly. Y'all know me, man. Well, look, look, look. When Everybody here knows me. Y'all know me from the sheriff's department. I actually don't know you. Oh, well. I'm going to be that hostile, okay? Okay, look. I'll be honest. My, I sometimes put my hand there to arrest it. It means nothing. But look, we got a guy, call with a guy with a gun out here. We got to come out. I got you. No. You know, I respect that part. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's cool. Yeah. You got an open carry, so. It's cool. You know yeah. Is, right? I, I know it. Okay. I don't mind what you did. That, listen, that's just cool as well. I just don't appreciate that gesture when I didn't present myself as a threat to him. That's no problem. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, I guess I don't know if it's these gentlemen that called or not. Yeah. When you're spoken to, buddy. All right. Just talk to me. Don't talk I'm sorry. But, yeah, I, I ain't caused a problem. I spoke to a few of these people. I came out here. I saw them doing some work. I stopped right here. I literally ain't said a word to nobody out here. Okay. A woman came out here. She spoke to me. That's what I was doing. I told her my name. I said what I was doing. She spoke to me. She gave me a few directions. And that was it. I tried speaking to these people. They stood there being peeping tongues. So I'm like, man, just come talk to me. I ain't doing nothing. You just come out at me. Where everyone's got to call I know it. And, and again, I'm sorry that they wasted y'all's time. But I'm up recording you. Is that okay with you? Why? Because I want to, it's called freedom. Is that okay with you? Be nice. Mind your business. I'll mind mine. I am minding my business. Well, why are you walking toward me without a uh, mask? There goes that encroaching. And see, when you get in his e when he gets in his ego, and you, you know, you, you upset him because you know you raise your voice, and all of a sudden he wants to encroach. See, this is how people get hurt. This is how these cops decide to put hands on you. And they have no right to do it simply because they're in there. You know, they're they having they're on an ego trip right now. Yes. Why are you walking Why up you on me? Mesh? Public sidewalk, thank you very much. Mind your business, do your job. 
Leave a citizen alone. This ain't none of your business. Go my somewhere. business is to record you, which is what I'm doing. That is my constitutional right. Yeah. Then you take an oath to it. protect it. Why are you antagonizing everybody? Why are you walking up on me when your policy is to de-escalate? No Why are you walking up on me? Go somewhere. I can go where I want. I'm a grown man. I don't need your f***ing permission. I'm a grown man. Really? Be nice. Leave me alone. Owned. Love it. Absolutely love it. So you talk that talk. What's in your policy? The de-escalate. Uh, he got stopped in his tracks. You know. But it's funny how all of that excitement and all that chest pounding and, you know, uh, pissing contests that you're doing out there, you know, de-measuring and whatnot, all of a sudden just comes to an end. They like their job more than they like to fight. Uh, you better believe that. He starts thinking about his job. <laughs> He's so pissed he can't take it. Yeah, he starts thinking about his wife and kids and the fact that they're gonna be in the, you know, in the bread line if he if he throws a punch or does something stupid out there on camera. Better believe that. Let them know that. All right. Okay. I already know. Okay. She don't. All right. Why are you recording them? I, mean, I, I don't need to answer those types of questions. I mean, this is a business. They were just like, you know, why? I, I don't need to answer those types of questions. You know that. 441. What's your choice? Explain to her what you just tried to tell me. I, I already know. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got several. No. Why would I show you? Well, first of all, I'm not on your property, dumbass. All right, man. What's your name? Yeah. It's Pudding Tain. Your name is what? Pudding Tain. Pudding Tain. Pudding Tain. Ask me again, I'll tell you the same. That guy that wants to record all this bullshit. Record what? Record what? Dummies like you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. The officer's a little bit too young. Or actually a lot too young to understand what he's saying. Let's make sure I'm saying pudding team. That's not his real name. My name's Nunya. Nunya damn business. Sir, I'm asking you your name. I know what you're asking okay, me. Okay, but you're saying you got warrants out. So what's your name? Oh, well, I, I say a lot of things. Why are, you, why are you being so... So what? Uh, and I'm not giving it to you. Well, you have to. I don't. What, what, what does the law say I have to? You tell me the law. Did I say I got to identify myself? What law is that? Go ahead. What law is that? Hi, Karen. It's not, it's not him. He won't tell me his name. Listen, I don't have the warrants, okay? So these videos that I, I'm doing right here, these remasters, they came out so fucking good, and they won't upload. I'm shut on this camera here. I can't even get onto the internet with it now. That's why I'm doing this remaster from camera to camera. Okay, so chill out. I, I'm cool. I, I can tell you, I tell you a lot of things, dummy. I don't have to be truthful to you. You ain't nobody to me. Yeah. Finally, finally, you turn around and get the person who's instigating the whole entire argument. But you didn't want to do it, really, because you're not after them. You're always after the auditor, always after the guy with the camera, you know? Uh. Yeah, yeah. Well, make me get off your property. When I get on it, then you can do something. When I get on your property, then you can do something. Right now, you can just kiss it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I was saying the same thing a while ago when they won't hear. I know you are. 
Yeah. Just turn, turn, do that back. Do that back. So he can go ahead and make a, a obvious threat, you know. He can start walking towards him and have him, you know, say whatever he want to say. Come on, come get this. Let's let's rumble, whatever, you know. And the cop does absolutely nothing to him, and he just walks away scot free, nothing, you know. He instigates the whole thing, and so he got what he wanted out of it. He got everybody riled up. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to get the cops riled up. He wanted to get him riled up. And when he, you know, when he was successful in his mission, he tucks tail and runs. <laughs> How you doing, brother? I'm David. Nice to meet you. Yes, um, are you Officer Hill? Yes, sir. This gentleman here is confused about county and city property. He said it's private, right? Yes, sir. You said it. I'm done talking to you. Shut up, please. This officer here told me that city and county property is private. We all out here know. I appreciate you. Yeah. You're done. You can get to me. Thank you. Hey, listen. Thank you for thank you for removing him so he don't look as bad as you look, right? Because the whole city is going to see this. And it's going to the sheriff. It's, 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 it's going to be great here. Okay. And you're a major strickling, all right? Yes, is your family on on the internet? Because everybody's going to see this. So when you go home, please brief them that you're now on the internet and they shouldn't watch it if they don't want to see dad or husband look like a fool because that's what you are. See, that's one of the things that these pigs don't understand is that we have satellite YouTube channels. Channels like this and many, many other channels repeat these videos from the original content creator actually helping to echo you know the stupidity that these pigs do so you know the original creator might receive maybe fifteen thousand views and then it goes on to channels like this where we review these videos and we react to these videos and so many other you know like i said probably hundreds of other videos uh channels that are like this and so this guy gets seen pretty much forever on youtube looking like an idiot i wonder where he is now probably fired probably demoted he made his uh office look bad absolutely terrible see these gentlemen here they're, they're professional but you told us to get out of the car and open your mouth and then this happened and that was interesting because obviously you told us good to go it's still standing here watching see that he can do whatever he but you just told him he can go so if he can do what he want why couldn't he stay here and talk 